Welcome back to Bomb Shelf. I'm Josh. I'm Keith. And I'm Eric. And I appreciate you coming back after last episode. Joyce, can you tell our viewers at home what we're drinking today? Happy St. Patrick's Day. To celebrate, we are drinking Patty's Old Irish Whiskey. In 1882, the Cork Distilleries Company hired Patty Flaherty as a salesman. Patty traveled the pubs of Cork, marketing the company's unwieldy name, Cork Distilleries Company Old Irish Whiskey. His sales techniques were so good that when publicans ran low on stock, they would write the distillery to reorder cases of Patty's Whiskey. In 1912, with his name having become synonymous with the whiskey, the distillery officially renamed the whiskey Patty Irish Whiskey in his honor. This whiskey comes in at 80 proof. We paid the general price of $20 for this bottle. As always, your prices may vary. Enjoy! Thanks, Joyce. Let's uh, dive in and see what they think about this whiskey. I try not to be deceived. Yeah, now I'm self-conscious. <laughs> <laughs> The color on this one is lighter. I'd say it's straw color. Almost straight yellow. It's definitely one of the lighter whiskeys we've had. I'm smelling like grape and berry. Yeah, I'd say like a white grape, a green grape. I'm getting very white wine. Mm. Yeah. But like more grapey white wine. Yeah, like a sweet white wine. So yeah. you mean oak? No, the opposite of that. <laughs> I was trying to avoid saying like oak. I mean, there might be a little bit of oak tan in there, but it's more of a white wine grape. Like yeah. A, like a Riesling. Yes. Yeah. Somewhat sweet and sugary. I'm also getting a little bit of citrus. Yeah. Like a like a light lemony. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm getting that. Like a, a lemongrass. I'm getting a little bit of straw, a grassy aroma out of it. Like maybe a lemongrass or a lemon thyme or something. Let me go in for a sip. That's refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. A little fruity, but that has like a, a spice finish. A little spice kick on the back of the, the tongue. It's a little bit light, but yeah. it is it is light. Its notes are, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Like overall it's light, but it has like a very potent sweet in a very sharp in a good way spice. Almost like a candied spiced lemon. Yeah. Like a spiced lemon drop or something. I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. Finish is, a, I'd say, medium? I would say medium on the finish. Going back to the nose, a little more vanilla? See, I'm getting I'm getting more of that lemony. Mm. I'm getting more lemon now. and a little more spice on the nose. I can see where you're getting <laughs> a vanilla, though. Oh, like a vanilla sugar. Yeah. Almost a, like a frosting. Yeah, see, it, it for me... Having the sip brought more of the fruity grape and lemon notes to the nose. It's very, it's very stringent on the finish. Very dry. Yeah, I think mm. yeah, it's that sugary lemon spice droppers. That's more? Yeah. Yeah. But I am getting that vanilla frosting. While we let the water mingle with the whiskey, let us tell you about our homes on the internet. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram at The Bomb Shelf and Twitter at Shelf Whiskey. Is that with an E or an OE? With an E. With an E. You can also find us on our new home at podhubnetwork.com. You can find us and other Pittsburgh-based uh, podcasts on that website. You can also buy this bottle from Drizzly at the link down below. That will help us get a kickback uh, for that or any bottle you buy of anything you buy there. And they'll support the show. You can also support us directly by going to our Patreon and subscribing for a monthly uh, payment to help us support our channel and us to buy whiskeys to keep reviewing. Or if you want to do a one-time donation, check out our Buy Me a Coffee down below. Nose is hard nose to get now. But yeah. Yeah, the water, like, killed it. That's but the only way to describe it. It killed the nose. I wouldn't say it killed the nose. I just think it it took the peaks away. So it's it's much flatter on the nose. I'm still getting that vanilla frosting note. I'm, I'm getting more of the vanilla frosting now than I was. Ooh, that is sweet. And less of the lemon on the nose. Oh. That brought, that brought forth a lot of sweetness. Yes. Yeah, it did. It's almost like a sweet and sour. It, cause it, it I'm not getting goes, the spice anymore. I'm just getting the right. sweet and like the citrusy lemon I'm right. sour. I'm getting the spice, but it's brought down. Like It's like the sweetness got brought up, the spice got brought down, and now we're like at this nice even ground. I think the finish is a little bit shorter. 
Yes. But still good. That's where I'm getting the sour is on the finish. So I think it's a good transition, almost like a, a sweet and sour sauce or something yeah. like that. Creamy. Yes. Yes. I'm almost sorry. buttery on the finish. I, yeah. That's what I where I was going to go. Like a whipped butter. I think I'm thinking more like whipped cream. Eh, not whipped cream. Not whipped cream. Whipping cream, but you just drink it. Like a sweet, uh, maybe like a milkshake. No, but not cold. I don't know. No, just butter. Butter on the finish. If it's going to be butter, it's definitely like with butter. And maybe like yeah, it's like the uh, honey cinnamon butter that you get at Golden Corral. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Or any other places have it too. I don't remember who else, but... And here Texas we'll find Red out House. that it's not at all like that, according to other people. <laughs> don't hate us. All right, ready for some ratings? Sure. Have you been, yeah. thinking, have you been thinking about them? Yeah. You know, as much as I should have. All right, we'll start with the nose and we'll go on from there. Nose, I'm gonna go with a solid 3.5 on this. I really liked what I was getting. It was very inviting. And I liked that uh, it was fairly straightforward. Slightly complex, but wasn't hard to identify anything in the nose at all. For the nose, the water brought it down a little bit for me. I would, I would, give, I would have given it a four before the water. I think I'm gonna give it a 3.5 overall because I give it a three with the water. So 3.5 overall, I think the complexity and the complementary notes of the nose really made it a good one. I agree with that assessment with the, the water versus the not water. I would, in normal circumstances, just take um, just without the water. However, I think the palette, which is so much better that you have to consider water into the equation. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to go 3.5 as well. Um, otherwise, I agree. If we were if we were going based on our first inception of the nose, right. it would be a four. Normally, yeah. that's how I would go. I would go without the water. This is what I liked. I'm giving it a four. Yeah. But the three point five because the water really helps the palate. And so yep. we'll go on the palate and talk about that palate. Palate. I'm going to go three point five again. Kind of the same thing, but in reverse of what Eric said. Straight. It would have been a three. With the water, it would have been a four. So I think it just knocks it down to a 3.5. I'm gonna give it a four. Most of the same reasons, I, I loved how well the sweet and sour and sweet and spicy notes complemented each other. It just really made this palette very good. With the water, I think it really improved. Without the water, I probably only would have given it a three. With the water, I, I'm willing to say that's a four. I'm also gonna say a four. Um, I liked, I would probably give it without the water a 3.5, uh, but with the water, I'm giving it a four. So I'm just gonna round up to a four for this case. Um, I thought this was a really good palette. Uh, moving on then to finish. Finish is where this one falls for me. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to a straight three on it. I think I would have liked to have had the finish last just a little bit longer. Uh, draw out some of those fla flavors that were beginning to extract themselves, but then they'd hide as soon as, as soon as they'd come out, mainly because the, the finish was just a little bit, bit too short. I also think the finish is where this one falls for me as well. I'm gonna give it a three. The palette was so good that the finish just didn't follow up on it. Yeah, I agree that, yeah, the finish is the worst part of this whiskey. However, I'm gonna even say that the, the Finish is below average, and I'm gonna give it a two. But I think the palette and the nose are amazing, so. All right, so we're gonna move on to our guesses, and then we'll start going through the revealing of the whiskey. So uh, we are guessing what type of whiskey this is, what the proof is, how much retail is for this bottle, and then how much you're going to pay. And those first three will give you points based on whoever's closest. I'm gonna go pot still Irish. Proof, I'm gonna go 80. Price, I'm going to go 16 and I'd be willing to pay 60. I'm gonna go blended Irish. Uh, I'm going to say, as far as proof, I'm gonna go 80. I I have a hard time saying this is anything more than 80 proof. And as far as price, I'm gonna say 20, I would pay 18. All right, let's dive into things then. We'll start with the ratings and uh, general tasting notes of their sites. Distiller gave this a 78. Whiskey Advocate, a 84. Wine Enthusiast, an 87 and tastings.com in 86. Okay. I find the distiller tends to be, like when they're the harsh one, they're the harsh one. Uh, the tasting notes that 
most people get from other review sites. On the nose, grain, vanilla, honey, floral, fruit, spice, and fresh. On the palate, sweet, vanilla, cereal, mild, malt, soft, and honey. Finish, spice slash like black pepper, and then oak or wood and malt. I don't think we're like ridiculously far off right now. No, I think we were. I'm surprised that I said soft and they said soft. That's <laughs> that like, yeah, soft was a. a... <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I got one. <laughs> All right, so your guess was blended Irish whiskey. Your best guess was pot still. Pot still. Uh, this was a blended Irish whiskey. Yes. You both guessed 80 proof. It was 80 proof. Uh, you guessed $16, you guessed $20, it was $20. Yes. Yeah. Eric's blowing me away today. <laughs> today you drank Patty Blended Irish Whiskey. And now I can finally say this, happy St. Patrick's Day. This, okay. is, this video is, is this one gonna come out on St. Patrick's Day? Yep. Ooh. I should have worn my green hat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I would have ruined it if you had told Yeah, true, true. So, I made sure not to tell them. All right, so yeah, this is uh, Patty's. Blend old Irish whiskey. It's a blend of grain, malt, and pot still whiskey. So it's got all the different kinds of whiskey in it. So it is a blend. Go through some more notes about this. It is at least three years old by Irish law. It is oak, uh, which is notable because Irish whiskey does not require oak barrels. It does have to be a wooden barrel, but it doesn't have to be oak. Unlike other distilleries, other countries. The distiller or producer is Milton, which is a very big distiller over there in Ireland. It is triple distilled, which is par for the course for Irish whiskey. Um, it has whiskey that's up to seven years old. The brand is owned by Sazerac, so they own the Patty brand. Yep. Okay. And this is the probably the most interesting note. In 2020, at the Air National Whiskey Competition, they were this was named the best blended Irish whiskey, mm -hmm. and then it earned silver or second place as the best Irish whiskey at that event. So obviously not everything gets your best blended, second best Irish overall. Yeah. Of all the whiskeys that were yeah. at that event. And those oh. events can be, some people have mixed opinions about those kind of winnings and stuff. So yeah, that's that. Um, and this now makes our fourth Irish whiskey. So mm -hmm. look forward to a future, future budget brawl with uh, Patty, Two Gingers, Bushmills, and There's another one somewhere. Clontarf. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Clontarf. So look forward to that episode. Uh, that now makes us have three bunch of brawls we need to do and get done. So look forward to that. Uh, anything else you guys want to say about this? Uh, as far as the bottle, it's it's a very nice bottle. It's clear. It's got a cork, which is nice for, uh, for the price range it's in. As an Irish. Um, has a picture of Ireland on it. And then it just says Patty's on it with a white label, black and gold trim and all that. I think it's a nice looking bottle, but I, I like that it has a cork. And another great product from Sazerac. Yeah. <laughs> it was made by other people beforehand. Now it is made by Sazerac. Actually, the cork is new now. Think about it. It used to be back when we lived together, it was a screw top. Yeah. And the labels changed and stuff. I think, I think it looks nice now. Yeah. It was coming in a tube for a little bit. Um, but all the bottles I saw were not in tubes. I think the bottle shape has changed as well. It didn't, it wasn't always as tapered. As tapered. Yeah. There's just a slight taper. I think it used to just be straight. Straight. Yeah. I think, it's a, I think it looks like a nice bottle though. It looks nice. Oh yeah. Well then, until next time, may the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the other guy who says, This, this drinks, drinks on me. me. And Aaron go bra. Aaron go bra. That this is St. Patty's Day episode. I don't know what that means. It's an Irish. Yeah, I'm not Irish.